Hey YouTube, welcome to Market Watch, your weekly segment where we talk about the Digimon card game market. BT8 is upon us, it's finally out, and things are getting out of hand for certain cards. So we're going to talk about the implications of the BT8 meta. And yes, we just had Yellow Hybrid win a regional, a BT8 regional without starter decks. Uh, and BT8 Hybrid, Yellow Hybrid, is still doing really well regardless of that. So, you know, we have different things to talk about in today's Market Watch, and I think that you will enjoy all this content. And if you do, like the video, comment, let me know what you think, subscribe to the notification button, smash potatoes, that way you know when all these videos, digital videos go live. Without further ado, we always look at the Omnimons first, and the Omnimon market is kind of interesting here. The Dwarf Defeats are still kind of going up, staying persistent. Next the bodies run the same, your Blitz Omnis are kind of around the same give or take uh what's happening here with bt1 altered omnimon again if you want some cheap light plays do it but near mint is only six seven bucks more which isn't that bad actually if you guys want some omnimons again now's your time to do it before they shoot back up in price like we know they will lord nightmon had a buyout this particular version of Lord Nightmon had a buyout. Someone actually went out and bought the last copy here for 150. It's not a major buyout, but I think someone just cleaned it up. What does that mean for the card in the future? Who knows? But it'll probably go up from here, to be honest. All right, BT8 singles. Rudamon remains the most expensive card in the set. Altart, as everything is calming down and doing what it's doing. That being said, I wasn't too surprised about this because you know, in BT7. Doramon was the most expensive card, and I get, I kind of thought that this one would be expensive too. We were talking, kind of talking about that earlier. It is the X body anime card, so there you go. It's money. Magnamon. You see what happened here? So it reached a low on Friday when you know people were opening boxes and doing things. It reached a low of seven dollars, but it shot back up. People are really, really hyped about Magnamon now for some reason. Um, I'm not quite sure why. This could be future hype too. To be honest, BT9 is around the corner if you think about it. But besides that, you know, is Magnamon seeing a whole lot of play this format? I don't really think it is. So unless that changes, you know, this will go down in price over time. Just give it some time to adjust. Black War Greymon. $8, $9, the card is kind of insane. Now, this is a tier 1 deck, I've been saying it's in square 1. And the price does reflect confidence in the card and its abilities. You know, if Yellow Hybrid is a good deck this format, Black Wing Raymond can just pop two of their tamers, so we're defeat could pop a third. Uh, we were doing some testing with that, and like, Black War Greymon doesn't do bad. And you can make it super anti-meta with cards like Breath of the Gods if you wanted to. So I don't expect this price to really hold. It might go up a little bit longer, but then it'll go right down. That's my opinion anyway. Flamedramon. Somebody told me they didn't think the Altart uh, armor cards would go at around 30 bucks. Yeah. Uh, 30 bucks, basically. I mean, Armor Rush... This, this is the main Armor Rush card, right? And, like, it's not anticipated to see too much Tier 1 top-level play, right? Comparatively to Imperial or Yellow Hybrid. What that means for the card is that there's less demand. And sure, it's an Armor card. Sure, it's probably a future support. And sure, it's an anime favorite. This might go up over time. But I think this goes down a little bit first, in my opinion. This Armor card, on the other hand, 40 bucks, And this kind of makes sense because Rapid Mon, you play four of it in the Tier 1 Yellow Hybrid deck. And that being said, if you want four alt arts, you know, that does put a premium on it, right? So this doesn't surprise me at all. Sure, it's kind of been going down, as you guys can see here. It might go down a little bit more, but alt art card you need four of in a tier one deck. It's probably not going too much lower besides that. Regular Rapid Mon, though, three plus four shipping here, a $7 super rare. Again, it hit a low. It hit a low when the set freaking came out at around five, six dollars. It did hit that five, six dollar mark, and then it just shot kind of back up a little bit. And I think the future of this card is kind of unknown because it is a tier one deck. People do need four copies of it. Um, I don't see this card ever dropping below five bucks in the current format that we're in. Time will tell to see what actually happens with it. But if you, people keep really hyping up this deck, uh, it's going to put a lot of pri price confidence into this card. Or you, Mon, five, six bucks as well. Uh, even though it's not seeing anywhere near as much representation as Yellow Hybrid or Imperial Dramon starting next week, you know, 
the XCT body deck is still strong, if not my opinion. It's definitely capable of beating Yellow Hybrid, and I think people realize that. Again, because, you know, it's got outs to DP reduction with Dora Gray, this makes it invulnerable to being deleted by opponent's card effects, or your mother in particular, and you can play Breath of the Gods. Again, you can just do that, and that makes your matchup a whole lot easier. So I don't really think that... Uh, th this could drop below 5 bucks, absolutely, but I don't think it goes below that too much because it is a very popular card in the Exit Money deck. You play three or four copies of it, absolutely. Fighter Mode Imperial Dramon. 570. Again, hovering on the five six dollar mark. It did have a low of five four bucks, and then it kind of went back up a little bit. Um, this is super interesting because this card has extra printings, right? It's got the alt art from this set. It has the Ultimate Cup printing, which doesn't have any right now. Which is why, you know, it's kind of still relatively expensive for a super rare. You only play like two copies of it. One, three, if you're feeling super greedy. Uh, I think this drops below five bucks at some point. But keep in mind that that could change if Imperial Dramon really takes off. And this card is a key player in it. Ophanimon Fall Down Mode has fallen down all the way to freaking five dollars again. It was three, four bucks on Friday when the set came out. And, uh, you know, it's kind of stabilized around five bucks. Ophanimon is a really good card, uh, not only in Mastermon, but also in Yellow Hybrid. People are playing one or two copies of this card. Sometimes none. I don't think I don't agree with that. But it is a good card. It is seeing play. And Ophanimon Fall Down Mode is just good with potential future support as well. AKA BT9 uh, or Dinimon or whatever, however you pronounce that card. I have no idea how to say that card's name. But, you know, uh, keep your eyeballs on this card. I think it goes down a little bit more. But, again... Wait a little bit, but if you only want one or two copies, it might be worth it to pick up anyway. Shiamon is garbage price. Yep, Andromon here, 45 bucks. Give it some time, there's a lot of listings, but it'll buy out one day, don't worry. This card, I don't even know why. If you guys know why this is a near mid $62 card now, let me know in the comments. Yes, I get that it's good, and some people are even playing it in Yellow Hybrid, okay. It all makes sense, but like, damn, is that really enough to make this $62? I think it cools off. It might go up a little bit, but then it cools off. That's what I think. And again, it is BT1. There there ain't a lot of that kicking around anymore. Kind of interesting, though, eh? We thought that $40 was the highest it was going to be. <laughs> oh, man, I hope you bought them. I hope you, I seriously hope you bought these cards. Uh, Jet Selfie. I wanted to cover this because it's $30 pre-release, and... Uh, some of you may know that Yellow Hybrid did really well in a in a BT10 Japan tournament. So you might want to pick up copies of this card. The only risk is that it might get hit on a ban list. It might go to one. Whether you want to gamble with that is completely up to you. But I just want to present that information to you. There's no reason for this card to be $32. It's banned as a judge promo. It's really cool, certainly max rarity, but don't buy this card. That's just a PSA. Just don't buy it, okay? Please don't. Thank you. Uh, Kakaitis Breath. I bring this up because there's a $23 listing here, but then everything else besides that is $69. Nice. I'm not going to buy this listing. If someone else wants it, take it. Do it. There you go. Davis here is just is a $25 card now and going up. You guys are really running out of time to buy this card. This card is close to buyout range. I could see this card being a $30 rare next week. I could see it. Uh, you might want to grab your copies if you still haven't for some reason. Patamon. Had a buyout. Sure did. I hope you grab these variants of them if you wanted this version of the card. Yes, the confidence in Yellow Hybrid is causing this card to explode. Even this copy of the card had a little bit of a buyout, right? It was... Freaking two, three dollars a week ago, and look at it now. Look at it now, guys. It's crazy. Uh, that being said, I it's it's hard to say with this card, right? I have twelve copies of this card. I'm waiting. I'm hesitating to let them go at six dollars a copy. I I do think that if Yellow Hybrid is being swarmed to by these massive numbers, the card goes up. I might have been wrong. Even though Patamon is not a main player in the deck, it's not. It's definitely the Tamers that do the work, and the Hybrids, and the Rapidmons. While those are definitely a driving force of the deck, I guess you do need something to evolve. Rapidmon onto, Patamon being the best option. So yeah, if you are in the Patamon hype train, do buy your copies now. If you're not, don't. Hold them. 
They'll probably go up a little bit more. This also had a buyout, it looks like. The yellow memory boost promotion pack. See, now this is super interesting because it's the max ready version of the memory boost, right? I guess we bring up green memory boost as well. It has a lot of listings, but it's also just fucking going up in price right now. These memory boosts aren't in, aren't really in circulation as much as you might think. Because people are done with BT7. Let me tell you, they're, they're toast. Which means there's going to be BT7 boxes sitting on shelves not being opened. Which means that a lot of this memory boost stuff in the box toppers and the boxes will remain expensive. Do with that information as you will. If you have them, sell. This went up. Yep. It's practically an $8 card now. I mentioned it on one market watch and it shoots up to 8 bucks. I'm not surprised. It was really just free value at $3 a copy. I'm not going to lie. People that people that have this card will get rewarded if it goes to one. Or, or, or sorry, if it goes to four or something like that. Even two, even three. And Rust Tyrannomon also had a buyout. This is the last card I'm covering today. And I, I don't know why. They got Tyrannomon support in BT8. It's, did it top a tournament or something? Did it do well? I honestly don't know. So if you guys know why Rust Tyrannomon is like a $70 card now, do let me know. It's kind of crazy. Again, it's a BT1 card, so not a lot in circulation. But, like, the Tyrannomon support just isn't there for me. You know what I mean? However, that doesn't change the fact that this card could explode if we get really good Tyrannomon support one day, which we could. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think we did pretty good. Uh, BT8, I think the moral of the story of BT8 is that you had to buy cards right on release day. That was when they were at their lowest. Uh, because now, if you, you didn't buy them, if you're in no rush, you should wait until the next dip. Because right now, things are under a hype period. Let me know what you think. Bye.